ever like creeped or grossed out by some of the makeup effects? Yeah, the first the first scene I was ever in is the is the is the first one I acted. It was the first day of me being on set and it was the deer tracking the deer and Craig Nicotero was the first person I met and he was the zombie that I shot in the head. So, and everybody had already been friends because they'd you know done all the press together and they were buddies, but I showed up and Greg has blood coming out of his mouth, and he's like, Hey, hi, I'm Greg Nicotero, nice to meet you. And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> that was my first, but yeah, it gets kind of gross, but I think the way that Greg and his team do the zombies, it's, it's, I mean, you get used to it, but he, he sort of does them in a way you see, like, the dying, lost person behind the monster, and that's kind of creepy, you know, and that comes up. Alright, we got one over here on the right. This one's for Steven. Uh, Steven. How does it feel being an Asian guy and being with a white girl in, uh, in The Walking Dead? Because my other son is props to it. Uh, she feels like... Is there any difference? Yeah, she feels like every other woman. Uh, I will say, you know, I'm, I'm happy to portray something that's very realistic because that happens in real life. And I just want people to know that Asian men make amazing mixed race babies. I don't know what we're wasting time on here. Uh, come on. Yo. first introduced to your characters, what were your first impressions of them? Were you like, damn, this is awesome? Were you like, well, oh, I wish I could have had Merle. <laughs> I, 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 I was told that this cat was on the rooftop and uh, they, they handcuffed him to the pipe and he's left for dead. The, the zombies are coming through the wall and he cuts his hand off. I said, whoa. <laughs> what, the, the cat cuts his hand off? <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I actually need a gig. I'll, I'll cut my hand off. Yeah, yeah that's, that's why I took the room. All right, I'm going up the distance here for... Uh, this is, uh, first of all, I'm a really big fan of the show, and uh, I was, this is a question for Mr. Reedus. Uh, what, what has been your most memorable time in The Walking Dead? What was the what point? What was the most memorable moment of The Walking Dead? Other side. So Other side. Oh, really? Oh, hold on. Is that you? Um, the most memorable point. Oh, man. Um, I was stabbing Merle in the face. He <laughs> loved it, man. Loved it. Shooting, loved it. shooting Dale in the head sucks. Um, this girl sucks. Um, I don't mean that. I mean, so I was wiping the eyes. Um, I, yeah, there's so many. I mean, every day there's something memorable that happens. Um, it, it, I mean, some of my most favorite memories are, are not actually while we're filming. It's when we're, you know, messing around down by our trailers and stuff. Um, I don't think, I mean, we, we, we should lay down in the sticks in Georgia, and it's kind of our own little bubble. So we don't have, you know, uh, you know, agents and managers and people peeking over our shoulder or other people. It's just our little world down there. So the whole time is just really magical. If that makes sense. We've got a question further, same direction, but way over here. Hi, uh, we've seen Lori uh, appear in After She Died. Uh, any chance we're going to see Andrea or Merle come back as, like, flashbacks, that kind of thing? I've already uh, made my request. If I do come back in a flashback sometime in the future, I'd like that white negligee. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Some red pumps. <laughs> Is there a chance for you to be in either flashbacks or in, in prequels or as a ghost, anything? Oh, um, no. <laughs> um, I think the ghost thing's been done, and I feel like, um, I feel like Andrea died with, with Grace, and that, that, that story's been completed. So, R.I.P. I got a question right next to me. 